When you're building or tuning on the front suspension on your rig, you're going to deal with three key alignment angles. The first is your caster angle. Now, caster is the comparison of true vertical, that's this green line, and its relationship to the pivot points in the suspension, the upper and lower ball joint. Now, you adjust caster on an A-arm vehicle by actually moving the location of the upper A-arm in the suspension system. In a solid axle car, you're twisting the whole axle, either backwards or forwards. I like to run between five and seven degrees of positive caster. Now, that means that the pivot points are leaning back towards the driver. Caster helps the tires self-center after a turn and also helps the vehicle track good and straight down the road. If you're fighting death wobble on your rig, your problem is probably with your caster angle because as you lifted the suspension, there is a chance that your pivot points either went to true vertical or zero or even went into a negative caster territory. That causes the tires and wheels to shake. The next angle is camber. Now, once again, we're comparing it to true vertical, and we're comparing whether or not the tire is leaned in, which is negative camber, or leaned out, positive camber. On an A-arm vehicle, we can easily adjust that by moving the lower arm either further in or further out and causing the tire to tilt. On a solid axle rig, there's not a lot of adjustment in the camber because the ball joints are mounted onto that inner seat. You will see some road race guys play with camber a lot. That's why you'll see those cars with the tires pitched in at the top or sitting with negative camber when static or driving straight. That's because when they're turning into a corner, the body roll actually causes that tire to stand up back to zero degrees camber, giving them the ultimate contact patch on the road. Our main goal is just to stay at zero degrees camber through the entire suspension cycle. The last alignment angle is toe. Now at this point, we're looking at the vehicle from the top, and these are our two tires, this is the front. If the tires are pointed towards each other, they're towed in. If they're pointed out, they're towed out. If you're driving on the street, you probably want to run at about zero toe. That means the tires will just wear evenly and head straight down the road. If you're dealing with an off-road car, a lot of Ultra 4 guys have had luck with a solid axle suspension, giving themselves a little bit of toe out. About an inch, maybe two just sort of helps the vehicle track straight through rough terrain.